Pretty fish. It's the 7th of December 2017. And I'm just going to let it play there, kind of, and just show you a couple things. I, I got a chance to watch a Trump's announcement from uh, yesterday there. And so I went through it, and there are just, for me personally, hundreds of things in here that we could look at that are just <laughs> just the craziness that i see i mean look at like even stuff like this mesa 66 scottsdale 66 glendale hey 69 with a heat index of 70 and he just happens to be making an announcement that they've been waiting 70 years to hear but um, I wanted you to just listen for a few seconds here in particular. I'll turn the noise up so you can hear it. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you have already heard this. I'm not the first one. But um, nonetheless, here we go. I reaffirm my administration's longstanding commitment to a future of peace and security for the region. Okay. Now, again, yeah. Those words, when we hear that from a president of the United States, we listen. Our ears perk up. But nonetheless, I just want you to notice this is this is how things come to me. And, you know, there you go. But he says, the, the actual says peace and security at like the 8-11, 8-12. And this is my mind working the way it does. And this, and I'm, I was in Mark before because I was looking at the Mark 45 torpedo. That's just the way things operate around here. So I go, oh, 812, Mark 812. And he sighed deeply in his spirit and saith, Why doth this generation seek after a sign? Verily I say unto you, there shall no sign be given unto this generation. And he left. Okay, so that's that's one thing that pointed me at the 812. Another thing, which, strangely enough, um, I was talking to John B. over at Watchmen for that great day. Please go subscribe to his channel. The man knows his scripture phew, very well, trust me. And he was talking to me about, it's just fascinating, and, and I honestly, I don't want to wreck it by trying to tell you what he's talking about. Go watch his videos. Um, but he's talking about the bones. At that time, saith the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of his princes and the bones of the priests, right? And this again, this is uh, Jerusalem and, and Israel uh, backsliding and, and, you know, there's got to be some wrath brought down on them and whatnot. But again, I go, you have to read this, guys. It really is fascinating. I, I, don't, I don't share scripture very articulate. It, it just is the way it's just something that that's in me that's all scripture just talks to me in its own way but i i look at the jeremiah 8 11 and 8 12 you know i'm just saying you know it's at the 8 11 8 12 where he makes the announcement peace and security for they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace Okay, and again, please make a study of this. That's that's really that's what I do, and it's unbelievable what he shows us. It truly is, and so you know that's one big thing that just led me to go look at that. But if you continue on this video, right, I go up towards the end here, and don't forget, you know, the way Satan's spirit works in men is. To even to the men who are serving him, much of it is both seen and unseen. They, they have no idea that they are, you know, serving Satan and projecting his vanity, so to speak, at the world as he laughs and mocks. And I got, I got this particular one from Fox, Fox Phoenix. Um, I used to live in Phoenix, and Phoenix has really been uh, in the forefront lately, just in general. But I digress. He ends his speech, essentially. It's over at around, 
11. Let's just. God bless Israel. God bless the Palestinians. And God bless the United States. Thank you very much. Now, now I, I have to stop and talk about that a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I'm not going to joke about it. I'm dead serious when I say. Palestinians and God bless the United States. Thank you. It, it was was that like a denture slipping in his mouth or something i mean or was that intentional because i'm telling you the every little thing says something when you're dealing with something of this magnitude this is prophetic stuff people i mean you got to pay attention every little bit so he fumbles the united states which i don't understand but if you continue on, he's done, right? He's done at 1122 mark. And it continues on. Okay, the, the, the announcer just does his mumble jumble. I'll shut that off for a second. Notice the time. 1018 Pacific. That's 118 Eastern time. So the announcer, he, he, he doesn't say anything. Look at, look at Los Angeles 66. But this is where I want you to see it. I'm just going to make it be quiet for a second, okay? Now, he's looking down at the floor like Trump. You can see Trump's head. He's down on the floor doing something. Maybe he's tying his shoe. I don't know. But it's just weird. And they continue to look at Pence. And then right there, right at that very second, the clock turns to 119. 9-11, that's what I see at 11.55. He stopped speaking at 11.22. It's 33 seconds in between the two, right as the clock turns to 119. Okay? Now, if you continue watching Pence, he's looking down still. We, I have no idea what's going on, but he's, like, ignoring it for the most part. Now he looks down again, and look at this. Watch. Boop. Trump just pops up. Hey, I'm back. I was tying my shoe. And check it out. This is really weird. Boom. Right at 12.07 is when he pops up. 12.07. That's today's date. And pop goes Trump. Uh, I don't know why I see stuff like this, but I do. I'm, I really hope it leads you to go do study on these various scriptures. Because that's how you get to know God, I'm telling you. And he just comforts you and shows you things. We are in a time where you need to be paying attention to everything, folks, and be praying always, always. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Peace and grace to you, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 